it is impressive, right, that they they go these links, these great links to make things about themselves. Look, I am all for, I am all for, and, and some of you guys, if you've been watching my channel over the last week, you know where I'm going with this. The best literature in the world, right, has historically, regardless of the intention of maybe the, the writer or artist, has some sort of like real world relatability. And people sure. can say like, hey, this is... Um, um, and it's not limited to color or anything. Oftentimes and most times it's just in sheer experience. Right. And like that can you, you can relate to this narrative. You can relate to this story. And it was been it's been funny watching somehow a narrative float around. First, it was, oh, oh it was about about like more so black people and their experience. And then a recent new phenomenon. Right. And by relatively recent, I'm meaning like literally in the 2000s, <clears throat> the X-Men all of a sudden were specifically created to represent gay people. And anyway. it's like, all right, if you're gay and you think that, uh, uh, you know, being ostracized or something like that is, is something that you experience. I mean, look, maybe a little bit of dramatization, but whatever. But to then hijack these, these and, and that's the part that gets me, is the revisionist history and the hijacking of this, this, this whole thing where it's like, no, this is us. This is about us. This was wrote to be about us. These groups of people were uh, mutants, right? They're, they're basically the same as gays. And it's like, or they were created to be that way. It was an intention that was placed upon them by the by the creatives. And, you know, I could show receipts as long as CVS saying, well, that's just not true. And it doesn't matter. Like I okay. say, it's, it's one thing to say, okay, my experience has been this and I relate to them, right? And I, I've said this before. This has been a device uh, in storytelling quite literally for centuries. It's kind of weird that all of a sudden, like people not liking you um, for who either you are or who they think that you are is somehow now exclusive to black people or now it's somehow exclusive to gay people. And it's like, did the Salem witch trials as an example, was that not a thing? Like did, like over the course of like quite literally human history, people for various reasons have been either ostracized or let's say uh, penalized in their existence just because they were a thing or again in some cases people just lied to make it up this is not anything that's exclusive to black and or gay people right it's not it's something that many different people are going to find some level of relatability to however as we've seen unfortunately with agents again i call them that purposely agents yeah. of this of this community right which is largely corporate they hijack shit and they say well this is about us mm -hmm. and it has to be about us and if you if you don't agree, even though there's been conflicting reports, if you don't agree that Morph is now non-binary, then you don't know why they created the X-Men. It's like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Like that, that you, you're, you're revising history, and now you're gaslighting us. Mm -hmm. Oh, gaslighting is, is the key word. That's, that's the whole bit. You look through all the kind of replies from, from what I posted. I could just literally go, gaslighting, gaslighting, gaslighting. Do you know... I got a, I got, I got one from somebody trans identified female, and they said your life would be so much happier if you just stopped being uh, outraged about everything. And I was like, holy fucking shit! Well, you, you, you don't want to say that. <laughs> Proje projection, just a, bit, just a little bit. Did you look in the fucking mirror when you wrote that? <laughs> Did you look in the fucking mirror? But that's that's it's exactly what we are gaslighting projection. Um, it's the same thing, and also of course the you you get the the far left tactic of shame we got this this guy dares dares speak out against the the uh the stars the, sorry uh the the pride flag uh he gotta he gotta be we gotta browbeat them down but a browbeat them. nah 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 i i i, nah, I, I, I don't give a fuck. i was playing video games last night <laughs> i was playing video games and, and talking to to real life people because uh, mm -hmm. uh that's that's what i do in my life you know while you're going fucking chicken oriental on on twitter because some guy just wants to buy some cheese and a ribeye without having fifty eight thousand fucking pride flags shoved up his ass, you know? Right. I don't think that's. I don't think it's too much for us to, to let people just shop no. without fucking well, far left rational. ideology shoved down the throats, you Look, know? And it's so corporate, like so, like let's let's call it shit for what it is, right? Like it, it's it's like it's orchestrated, right? It's all orchestrated and it's corporate as fuck. This isn't some like organic movement, bro. Like, no, oh, this is just some corporate. Uh, BS. It is qu quite reasonable for anybody to be like, "Hey, bro, when I go to fucking to get like some steaks, 
I'm not trying to be bombarded with all this gay shit. Like that's yeah. a reasonable expectation. It doesn't mean you hate gay you people. You would think. You would think. But right. apparently it means you do hate gay people. You are anti-LGBTQIA. Uh, well, I'm definitely not an ally because being an ally to fucking people like you is the last thing on planet Earth I would ever want to be. <laughs> I just want to make that absolutely clear. But it, but it's it's the binary nature of these these people. It's the black and white of it. Right. Um. I you know I I would have just gone to supermarket buy food. My my criticism is about El Corpo. Yeah. yeah not gay absolutely. people. El Corpo absolutely. ramming this shit. But again, because you're fucking gay, Twitter, you make it about you because that's all you fucking can do because that's your existence on the platform is to make everything utterly and always about you. It's not about yeah. it's not about hating gay people. It's not about being anti LGBTQIA2 plus spirited, one, two, four, five, six, and eight, to the power of 10. It's about El Corpo being, oh my God, hi, I'm Corporation, and we're just like to say we're an ally. Yeah. What the, what the fuck does that mean? It means that please don't fucking bomb our stores yeah, no, when it, when it hits them the down. If somebody gets mad, please don't toss a brick in our fucking uh, yeah. establishment. Yeah, because now everyone's got to make it about themselves. Got to make it about themselves. And 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 how are you ever going to get acceptance when you don't just the way to get just be yourself, just exist? Let's talk about let's talk about Morgan Freeman for a second. When Morgan Freeman was was uh, uh, taught when when they, somebody asked him about Black History Month, a month which he fucking hates, by the way. Yeah. Uh, and he said, "Do you know the best way to deal with racism? <laughs> Stop talking about, about race." It. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's how that's how you you start to to deal with acceptance is you start stop talking about the superficial characteristics of that person mm -hmm. and start to judge them based on the quality of the character. But yeah. we're living in a, in a in a in an age now where the superficial is perceived as the important element by the yeah. by the people who are running the show, the entertainment industry, the comic book industry, El mm -hmm. Corpo. It's what is the superficial element that we can tap into to, to try and virtue signal, to try and to, to, to woo, woo, woo. Look what we're doing. And the content of this person's character is getting absolutely flushed down the toilet. Mm -hmm. I am sure there is, there is a ton of, of, of gay people who I'd have a great time with and I'd love. Do you know something? I think there's a ton of gay people I fucking couldn't stand. But that's not because of the, the fact that they'd be gay or black or a woman, or whatever it is, because it would be based off the content of that person's character. Right. Make content of character great again, you superficial wankers. It, it, it's so fucking <laughs> bad, man. Um, like, on this this topic, man, it's funny, because, you know, obviously with the Riververse, you know, we, re we, re we recently went through this. It's like, it's so bad now that people don't even know what it looks like when like a company doesn't prioritize any of that shit. Hey, let's go after somebody for a, a, a tweet they made six, seven, eight years ago. Uh, hey, over a decade. Let's, uh, that uh, let's go. Yeah, let's go after somebody for a, a film they made twenty years ago. Um, that's not that's not genuine outrage. That's fake. That's manufactured. Right. That's cancel that's pig. bullshit. Yeah, that's cancel pig bullshit. Yeah. You know, uh, somebody's told you an opinion and you're too weak willed. You're too fucking wet. Uh, to to say, well, I, I let me just think about. It. Let me put this into some sort of context. No, that's you showing what a weak fucking limp wristed baguette you are, <laughs> and just just go go along. Yeah, yes, yes, daddy, I'll fucking cancel pig them, daddy, for you. Oink, oink, oink. I'm a yep. fucking weak individual. That's yep. what that, that's what that bullshit is. Thanks for watching. Be sure to head over to Ripperverse.com to check out our comic book company. We have books, plenty of merchandise, and even some glorious animations from Ripperverse Studios. Next up, possibly our most anticipated book thus far, Yaira.